When I was a young and my grandmother would tell me all sorts of stories from when she's young. But there was one in particular that always stuck with me. It was a story of a woman named Ima Jean Pierce and how she got the nickname of Engine. said that Engine was known for being strong and big for a woman, but she didn't have always an easy life. In fact, it all started with tragedy. Said Emma Jean's parents passed away when she was just a young girl. No one knew the cause, but it left her orphaned and alone. She was sent to live in an orphanage where she was eventually adopted by an older woman. Now, this woman's husband had just passed away, leaving her with a farm of 40 acres that needed tending to. So she brought Engine back and farmed with her, taught her how to do everything, and at just eight years old, Engine worked tirelessly on this farm, taking over most of the work. The old woman would do what she could, but as the years passed, became too weak to do much. So Engine took over all the chores and worked and worked and the more she worked, the bigger and stronger she got. It was said she could do the work of five full-grown, hard-working men all on her own. And it went like this for ten years. The old woman took care of making sure they was fed and Engine working the old farm. One morning... Engine woke up to find the old woman had passed away in her sleep. And at just 18 years old, Engine was now completely alone with no family or home to call her own. She didn't know what to do or where to go, seeing as the old woman's sister had staked a claim on the farm and house. And poor old Engine had to leave. So she set out on foot, walking for miles and miles, and that's when she came across a small farm. She went to the open barn doors and asked the man there if there's any work she could do. The man, who had his back turned to her, started laughing at the thought of a woman doing farm work. But when he turned around, he was greeted with a sight that left him amazed. Standing before him was a woman taller than his six-foot-two frame and wider than him, too. She was all brown and muscle, with her hair tucked up under a hat and the man couldn't believe it. He said, my goodness, you're as big as a train engine. And that's how Engine got her nickname. The man, who was also a farmer, gave her work and a place to stay. And after a while, she moved on to the next place, always looking for work and helping out wherever she could. Now, they say that Engine traveled all over the hills of Kentucky, Tennessee, and even all the way up into West Virginia. She became known by everybody in those parts as well as in neighboring towns and communities. In fact, she even helped build some of the railroads in her time. They said Engine never turned anyone away. She'd help raise barns, build houses, work in fields, herd cattle, anything and everything. If someone needed help, oh, Engine was there to lend a helping hand. And all she ever asked for was a bite to eat and a place to lay her head at night. She never took more than she needed, and if she did, it was because she needed to give it to somebody else. Despite her tough exterior, and Engine was known to have a kind heart, always willing to lend a helping hand to those in need. And no matter how hard the work may have been, and even though she was a woman in a man's world, she never let anyone or anything stand in her way. She became a legend in her own right. My grandmother always say that everybody knows Miss Engine. And even though her life was filled with challenges and hardships, Engine made a name for herself in a time when women were not seen as equals. So now, whenever I see a train chugging along the tracks, I always think of Miss Engine 
and the incredible woman she was and how I'm grateful for my grandmother telling me that story of Fearless Engine who was big as a train engine. And I just wanted to share this amazing woman's story with you in hopes that you could share it with the world, Miss Laura. I enjoy all of your stories and love listening to you by the fireplace. Thank you for all you're doing. God bless. Rona Siebers. I want to give a great big thank you to Miss Rona for that wonderful story. That woman had a spirit as big as she was, I reckon. If y'all like this video, please hit that like button. Share it out on all your social media platforms. Leave a comment when the video is over. If you haven't already, consider becoming a member. We'll be doing some real good stuff coming up shortly. Here's a great big thank you to all my members. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you bunches. And remember, be the sunshine in somebody's day. Because you never know who's going to need it. And I'll see y'all next time.